Good morning, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Rose Shadowcat, and today you get to see my face. This is me. And also today we're going to be making banana bread from uh, ready kind of ready mix because I don't think people are able to you know have enough ingredients to go and make bananas bread from scratch. So I'll teach you how to make uh, banana bread from a mix and uh, make sure it be, it out the outcome is fluffy and tasty and enjoy it. So the recipes that they provide onto this package, onto this mix, is for one third of the mix itself. It will be about this much of the package. Uh, I'll be making the whole package, the whole mix, so therefore we're going to have to multiply it by three. Now you would think that you would need three bananas for this since they ask you to have one but I assure you, one banana is enough. Uh, you're going to need eggs, three, uh, since we're uh, timesing it by three, you're going to need three eggs. Uh, they require one third cup of water for one third of the mix, since we're tripling it again, that's the word. Uh, you're going to need one cup of water. And of course, a bowl and a spoon. So, they ask to add a banana, but they don't. They probably don't mention that you're going to need to smush it, uh, or cut it, or you know, make sure you need to have it smushed like uh, like mashed potatoes, let's say, in that kind of consistency. So when you're eating the banana bread, you don't get lumps of banana out of nowhere. Nobody wants to have lumps of banana in their banana bread. So you cut it off, you peel it, and I'll show you how to mush it. So what you do to make it really well mushed, I don't know if that's a technical term uh, for what I'm going to be doing, but that's what I call it. Uh, first you cut it in a few pieces. Doesn't have to be even. Just cut it, put it in a bowl. And I have this thing. Uh, I have no idea what it's called, I'll be honest. <laughs> uh, you take it and you, you basically uh, push onto the banana until it becomes, I don't know, until be be it becomes mashed potatoes. Maybe we're making mashed potatoes today, I don't know. Alright, so uh, I think I made mashed bananas. I don't know if anybody would want to eat this. It doesn't really look uh, good, but that's uh, the way, the consistency you want it to have. Next, you're going to be mixing everything else. So the mix itself, uh, the water and the eggs. Yeah. All right. So you take the mix, uh, again, you're taking all of it and you just pour it in. It smells like bananas already. Maybe you don't need water and the extra bananas. Actually, fun fact, you don't have to put bananas. That's actually really optional uh, because, because I've made the banana bread without the uh, mixy for water. Uh, I've made banana bread without bananas. It tastes exactly the same besides the fact that you don't have that special flavor of banana or you don't get that a little bit of a tiny bit of mush. Like you don't need to have a lot of it, but a little bit. I'm magical. I can do this. You know, I'm kind of worried I got shells in there, uh, but I don't think I did. I don't think so. If you are not sure of your skills uh, of, you know, cracking the eggs, you can always do it in a separate bowl. I've done this so many times that I'm used to it at this point. Ooh, I'm gonna need to wash my hands. Alright, so now we mix it. 
really good. Some people might ask, do you need a mixer? No, you just need the... Uh, you need me, because I can mix really fast. Well, if you don't have a rose in your household, you can just, you know, maybe uh, use a normal spoon, actually. <laughs> How I'm doing. Make sure it's mixed well. Uh, you might ask why I'm not putting bananas right in it, right right away in there. It does ask that on the recipe. The reason to that is because I want to make sure everything is mixed really well before I add the bananas. So now that you mixed it well, make sure, so in the mix they have sugar in it and salt. You, when you're mixing it, you're probably gonna feel a little crumples under your spoon. Make sure that those crumples are, uh, are no longer felt while you are mixing. That's how you know it's totally mixed well together. The sugar is not supposed to show up when you're eating banana bread. And... I have a tendency to take this and eat it, but of course you shouldn't. Then you add the bananas, or mashed bananas. That should be a new recipe, just mashed bananas. And you mix that in. Make sure your oven is preheated to 350 Fahrenheit. That's it, just make sure it's preheated. <sighs> Alright, as I said, make sure your oven is preheated to 350 Fahrenheit. You can put a timer on or you can wait till later. You're going to take a 9 by 5 inch baking pan. I have a special one. And you're going to take about uh, tablespoon a tablespoon of oil and lightly coat the sides of your baking pan that is so your uh, banana bread doesn't stick to the baking pan it's a baking pan what am i thinking <laughs> uh, once you go ahead and like flip it because you're going to have to take it out if you don't have um you know, oil, well, I mean, those people that have spraying pens for like oil sp spray can thingy that you can just go ahead and spray the pen with, you're lucky, you can use those. You can just go ahead and spray it. But since I don't have that, I'm just gonna take this nice brush and brush it all along the sides. Um, one thing though, make sure that there's not too much oil because then you're just going to have grease all over. I mean, nobody wants to have grease. Alright, so the last step, I think it's the last step, I might be wrong, is you are going to go ahead and pour your mixture into your baking pan. Uh, yeah. You know, one of the things I've learned at my school is that those breads that are really easily made, that are uh, that take a few seconds to make, are quick breads. Although, I don't know if you can count this as a quick bread. I think you can. Because you have a really uh, soft batter. I'm getting things all over the place. So my oven is preheated. It has some ovens will beep when they're preheated. Some ovens won't. Just have it, you know, uh, going for a real while while you're making all of this. And I will be putting my mixture in. It's super hot. Don't burn yourself. Now you probably should wear gloves while you're putting it in. 
I don't have to. Putting it for 45 minutes, so about an hour. Although for some ovens it might take 50 minutes, some longer, some less. Just make sure you check up on it.